This is World of Tank news for April 2nd, 2020. The big story, the South Africa tech tree is real. Uh, we're going to have a lot of details at the end. Uh, you're going to get to see, they're mostly the SARC. Uh, SARC is the name of the wheeled vehicle line. And they have SPGs that you can go into sniper mode that are also wheeled vehicles. So we're going to see that in the end. We're going to go through everything real quick. We've got the Forge. Uh, you can win uh, free premium tanks. This is a competition where you do an artistic work, such as a pasta portrait of a Progetto tank, as an example. Uh, you've got the KV-2R on the NA server and the Eagle 7 on the NA server. These are premium tanks you can buy. Uh, tankrewards.com, you can get the TOG-2, the Type 64, or the su 100Y. These are very easy to win. Most players should be able to win these vehicles if you want one of those tanks. Uh, EU server, we have uh, uh, an announcement about Frontline. So if you've seen the invisible friendly tank issue, they claim that they fixed it and uh, perhaps some other things. Uh, there is a tournament that occurred on April 1st with uh, some of the streamers. I don't know what the outcome was. Uh, the top of the tree is going to be the 60TP Lewandowski on the EU server. Uh, we've got on the test server, you've got the Cavalier and the A46. And I thought that there was one more vehicle, like a BT5 or something like that. Uh, oh, maybe this is it here. The Is that the BT2? Uh, so if you want to try out some new vehicles, you can get the test server and you can try out those new vehicles. On the Asia server, we have behind the metal Sydney Valpy Radley Walters. Uh, there's a little bit of history about Radley Walters. Uh, there's a new Twitch Prime package coming out. Uh, it says that the rentals will be the Senlac and the Crop Steyr Waffentrager. Uh, there are new f images for the Concept 1B and the A46. Uh, the CDC is available for purchase on the EU server. Oh, that's an interesting story. Okay, so then on April 1st, they did some sort of a turret thing. I, I didn't play it. This is for Watt console. Uh, but you can watch the video. It looks a little goofy. This is an example of what it is right over here. Uh, some sort of a turret thingy. On uh, Blitz, they're doing some sort of a thing where you collect different uh, icons or emblems and you win prizes and they announced a, a spring tournament which starts in May. I actually am one of the top players. I have a 69% win rate on Watt Blitz Asia. So then the K91-2 is a vehicle uh, that is mentioned as a tier 9 medium tank uh, which might be a vehicle coming this year as a reward tank. So this is the video about South Africa, another nation. It's nine minutes long. It's not a joke. Uh, it is in Russian. You use the closed captioning, and then you put auto-generated to English. Uh, they're mostly wheeled vehicles, and these are, some, these are SPGs that you can also go into sniper mode, and they're wheeled vehicles. And there's going to be more. There's more information. Let's see if I can find. So I looked up some of the vehicles. These, This is the vehicle that they mention as the Tier 2. And this is a tree that someone else did. I don't know how long ago this was done. But this includes modern vehicles. And you see they got the SARC vehicles over here. Uh, that looks like some sort of an anti-aircraft. Uh, that might be an SPG. I do recognize like Ruicat. Uh, these were some of the things that were mentioned in the Project 42 vehicle. That is in the video. That is the logo. These guys are developers, and their videos are pretty cool. They did say something they mentioned at the beginning of the video. They mentioned Level 11. See, over here says Level 11 car. Uh, I don't know why he mentioned that. But this is an example of the tech tree. And like I said, you know, these vehicles are real. If you like to look at camo and, and vehicles and stuff like that, Watt Clue has lots of images about different types of camo. There's got to be like seven or eight plus the new vehicles, and you can see the watch. Uh, there's actually a lot more. And you can see like the Concept 1B and the A6. There's a Concept 1B. 
Uh, this is my website, which is youtube.com slash user slash cheap books. You go to the community link. And you can see my surveys, you know, which of these Russian heavy tanks do you like the best? Most people chose the IS-7. I chose the IS-3A. What is your progress in ranked battles? I'm on Division 2. I'm going to be at Division 1 in the morning. Uh, so a lot of people are in the qualifying round. These are some double barrel tanks. Uh, these are German tanks, I believe. Are you recently unemployed? A lot of people said no, but 36% said yes. Uh, so every day I try to post something interesting. Uh, for example, this is a player who got 250,000 battles, uh, which I may have mentioned in a previous vehicle. And as you can see, a large number of people did make it to tier 15 on Frontline. So in terms of the servers, it was actually pretty good for a uh, regular World of Tanks. You see, this over here doesn't look normal. I think there may have been, been a problem on the Hong Kong and the Australia servers. It looks like the Hong Kong server was down and they sent the traffic to Australia, New Zealand. And we're also going to check out Watt Blitz. I do play Watt Blitz. You see, this is these are lag spikes, but it's actually a lot worse. You see, these are actually pretty bad. This is what I play on the Asia server. Again, I 69% win rate on Watt Blitz Asia. You can see that there were lots of lag spikes. I noticed it in-game, and that's why I had to quit playing because it was a little, little bit too bad. Okay, so that's the news for this week. If you have any questions or comments, please post below. Don't forget to check out my blog, watt.blog.cheapbooks.com.